we couldn't be trusted. What about having a, 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 a like I, what I should have got, what you should have got is a warning, a, a sign on there to say, look, you're, this has happened, you need to make sure it doesn't happen again or you will get a parking ticket. Do you think that would work better or do you think we would ignore that? I think that would work better. I think it would show some sensibility on, on behalf of the council. Um, and well, I, I, I don't say, I do know some councils do that. But uh, uh, again, it's down to the, the, the particular councils themselves. Uh, I mean, I, I warn anybody driving into Hammersmith and Fulham, seriously, um, that they would go do you if your toes over and line. Um, they are absolutely vicious, nasty and thoughtless, and I will say that absolutely in my view. 0345 Chiswick's another one, Hounslow, please be very, 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 very uh, careful. Uh, they're like a swarm of locusts over cars there. But do we need it? I mean, that's the question I'm asking, really. Do we need it? I honestly don't think I should have got a, a, a £65 fine. Um, for displaying my parking permit, but having one or two letters covered up. I think a warning would have been absolutely enough, a shock warning, going, look, if this happens again, you will get a parking ticket. I'd have made sure it didn't happen again. I mean, that's, that's sensible, isn't it? 0345 but are they really a necessary evil? Do we need people to keep us on the straight and narrow? Do we need people to stop us from taking advantage of free parking? Can it ever work that we didn't have traffic wardens? Chris, you're too thin. Hello, Chris. Hi, hi. Hi, good afternoon. Yes, I, I agree. I agree with what you're saying. I mean, I think, to be honest, this, this parking has gone really beyond the joke. Um, it seems to be like a cash cow, and some areas which I've noticed, to be honest, is not really a deterrent. Uh, it's not the, 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 it doesn't, it's not for safety. It just no. actually to catch people and pay pay money. I mean, I even seen some some signs where uh, I think the law, if I can remember rightly, I think in the year two two thousand law for the uh, tra tra uh, London Transport Law, it says the signs there ought to be equal. Yeah. Okay. And in some places they make this the one small sign, at, one sign smaller, the one that meant to catch you, and the sign that was meant meant to catch you is bigger. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. most people, they look at the big sign and they just and, the and, and they just walk away and when they come back they find a ticket and they start looking at it. It happens every day. Um, and, and, and I think, to be honest, that, that's really unfair. I mean, okay, if you want to sort out the, the, the parking, I think they should pay this like tax um, and then you, you can park in any bay in London. You know, so what, what, what's wrong with that? So you don't need that. They don't need that. No, no one to, 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 to actually control it. All you need is someone to make sure people don't park in awkward places like in the corners or... Oh, Chris, or you're absolutely right. And, and quite a lot of people are saying that as well. They're saying, look, what it should be is you only get a parking ticket if you are causing a blockage, if you're yes. causing a problem. If you're parked no. in a proper bay and everything's fine and you're not causing any issues, yeah. then you should not get, you should never have a parking fine. Because you there are 100 and what is it? I mean, £130 in Huntsmith and It's crazy. It's £130 crazy. for yeah. parking legally. Yeah, Just I having mean, to go over your time, unless you pay it quickly and then it's £65. Pounds. But it is absolutely disgusting that there is no intention to stop it. Well, it's not just that. It's just that there's no intention. It's just that there's no intention. There's no intelligence to it at all. No, I mean, it, you know, it's, it's become like a cash cow, as I said. It's no, no longer deterrent, no longer uh, uh, for, for safety. It's just actually to, 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 to make money out of people. And I think, to be honest, that uh, it should, we, so people should sort of rise to me and say, look, this is enough now. I mean, okay, I mean, uh, to, to, to pay the maintenance of the lines or whatever. <laughs> I'm going down Toll Broad, uh, to Toll Broadway, down your road. Um, I saw a bloke your, jump out. Your road. Yeah, Tollworth. I saw yeah. a bloke jump out of the van and jump into a FedEx car, uh, a van, and I believe he's stolen it. And I'm, I'm like literally sort of behind him. Right. Okay. What's the registration number of the van then? Um, give me two seconds because I'm just about. I don't want it to look too suspicious. Um, right. You say you your road, Tollworth. Yeah, your road. LD12. Yeah. WTF Whiskey WTF. Tango Foxtrot. Okay. Right. Well, it's nothing come on. It's been reported. This has just happened just now. Yeah. Li within the next. Within the last five minutes. Okay. Oh. He put his gloves on. Jumped in the van. Oh. You didn't <coughs> see anybody else around. I've done, I'm almost next to him. So. Yeah. Oh, what's 
sort of van is it, or what? Okay, it's a, a UPS? Or? It's a FedEx, um, FedEx van. It's a FedEx van, and he's yeah. not wearing a uniform? Well, I didn't, no. He jumped out no. of a van and jumped in it. Oh, okay. What sort of, uh, an unmarked van? It is a marked van. Yeah, but he was in an unmarked van. And yeah, he was in, in a transit. I've got, I've got cameras in the car. I'm literally yeah. behind it at the moment. Right. <coughs> and he got in a FedEx van and yes. drove off. Yeah. They just pulled up beside it and drove off. No, they pulled up just in front. He ran down the road, put some gloves on, jumped in the FedEx and drove it off. Ah, right. Oh, okay. I'm going to get the FedEx Pull on gloves. Yeah. Right, okay. He's on toll for all way at the moment. Okay, I'll put it down as very suspicious anyway. Tollwood Broadway. Yeah, yeah, he's outside the SO Toll Broadway at the moment. Right, okay, and which direction is he heading now then? Towards the A3. Yeah. I mean, he jumped one red light while he was with me. Uh, yeah. Like, you know, almost near me. Towards the A3. Okay, he's heading in that direction. Right, okay, what we'll do is we'll let the local police know what's going on. I haven't had anything reported yet at the van. It was um, Van jumped a red light, yeah? Yeah, he's jumped a red light. I jumped the red light just to stay behind him. Right, well don't do anything else like that. You've got it on camera anyway. Yeah. yeah. We've got it we've got it we've got it done um, there now and he's headed towards the A3, so we yeah. should be able to pick it up. So don't do anything to put yourself or anybody else at risk. I would suggest that that's that's you've done sufficient, mate. What do you look like, the guy who's driving it? Uh, well he's white, black head or Asian? He, he, he's black, he um he had a tracksuit top on. Uh, I think he had jeans. Um, he's going to go left, by the looks of it, down towards New Malden. Um, I give, I confirm, no, he's gone straight on towards um, Epsom. He's gone on towards Epsom? Yeah. Right, so he's gone, what, down on Kingston Road? On the yeah, Kingston Port Road, yeah. Oh, I, I mean, the other van seems to have disappeared. Right. Right, he definitely put on gloves to get in the van. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, they've had nothing reported on it yet, so it's not reported as stolen, so... Uh, he might not know... Okay. See, the yeah. FedEx bloke might not know what the registration is. He might have just taken it out of the pot, pot, um, yeah. pot or something. It's definitely marked as FedEx. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's not a white panel van then. A FedEx white, or are they... It's a white Citroen with... Relay van. Oh, what, sorry? A Citroen, Citroen Relay. relay. Ah, okay, so, all right. Right, well, what we're doing is we'll get somebody around there and follow them down there. So he's now gone towards... He's carried uh, on down, down the Kingston Road. Um, Kingston Road. Towards Epsom. I mean, I'm a hundred yards behind him now. Oh. So he's now on Kingston Road. Yeah. I think the transit could be right back from behind us quite a way, like 200 yards or something. I mean, I think he's starting to panic a bit now. Right, I would, I would stop following him. Yeah, he's turning um, left. He's turning left into, um... Yeah, he's definitely... Yeah, he's going off towards, um, the cut across. I don't, I don't know what the name of this bloody road is. What, what's the cut road? Has he gone past there? He's, gone he's past going, there? going towards a Toby Carvery. Right, yeah. He's definitely panicking. Is that the Auburn Crossroads, is that? No, no, it's before that, it's way before that, it's um, about a mile oh, before that. Oh, what, where the roundabout is, or before then? Before the round, um, roundabout. Is he still on Kingston Road? He's just gone past the Toby Carvery, no, he's turned left off of the, uh, what's it, he's gone past the Toby Carvery. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the name of the road is. Idea what it is. Yeah. I will tell you in a couple of minutes. There's a Premier Inn down there, isn't there? Is that where it is? No, 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 no. Right, he's going to go and turn into Crofton Road. Crofton Road? Yeah, he's panicking. He's starting to panic. You need to go down and get a plug. Crofton Road. Right, okay. I'll let them know where he is. He's <coughs> got Crofton Road on there, mate. Uh, it's going up towards Worcester Park. Back up towards Worcester Park. It's going to cross to Worcester Park from the Kingston Road. And then we, you know, we've got it following that now. Crafton 
Crofton or Crofton? Crofton. Crofton, yeah. Yeah. I'll find it on there, actually. I think you'll find it. Oh, Tolwood, yeah. That should get on that one. I don't know where he's disappeared to now, I think he's just sort of panicked because I've backed away from him. Yeah, don't, don't uh, get too close to him, otherwise he will... Oh no, I know where he's going, he's going towards Worcester Park still. Alright, okay. He's turned into a um, set of flats. This is the yeah. avenue. Western Park. Yeah. On the avenue. Yeah. It's just turned into um, a block of flats now. 